Hi, this is Tenzin Gu with the review of Jesus Camp. It's a documentary from 2006 by Heidi Ewing and Rachel Grady. Previously made the acclaimed Boys of Baraka. It's about uh, some at-risk Baltimore youths going to school in Kenya. But this one is about evangelical Christian camp set up for kids to really ignite in them a fervorous faith to really restore America back for God. And that is their uh, utmost desire and conviction. So it's very fascinating, especially for those who um, do not have a Christian background. It may seem very foreign and uh, downright crazy, uh, the way that people act in this movie. But um, I'm going to give more perspective of someone who does believe in God. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. For many of the kids, like us blessed children, what they experience at that camp is more of a workshop high rather than a life-changing born again experience. Once they go back to the outside world, they'll succumb, so, uh, meaning they will once again go back to their regular lifestyle because of their surroundings. But there are some with real fervor and power. This is one kid, Levi. He uh, yeah, he was different from the kids in that he really uh, had a true genuine faith. Even at that young age, just the, the way he spoke, it's, it comes from the heart. It's not something that's just spoon-fed to him. It's, it's words backed up with experiences, with yeah, intimate experiences with God. He won the hearts of the, direc of the directors, too, I could tell. I'm sure the directors were a little negative at first. But as the document progresses, you can see how they warm up more to the side of... You can really see the genuine motivation behind... The controversial figures such as uh, Becky Fisher and other people. And overall, I respect Becky Fisher. She thinks like I think in many ways. A sorry that scares a lot of people. But if she were to ask, you know what I'm saying? I would sincerely and seriously say, yes, I do know what you're saying. Because yet, yeah, um, a lot of people share her sentiments about the way America's going. It's down a path of destruction moral values out the window and everything like that. And if you get a nicky, shady feeling when watching Ted Haggard, your intuition was right. Not long after the film came out, he was exposed in a big scandal with a male prostitute. Uh, also for using meth, crystal meth. The guy came clean after he saw the sheer hypocrisy of this pastor. And this guy consulted President Bush every Monday for who knows how long? Freaking scary. I'll say it once. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I've seen this one tricky dastard. Always find ways to undermine this country. What bothered me a lot was the radio show host. Uh, his name is Mike Pepitonio. He is really, really, really exaggerating the power that evangelical Christians have in America. Just turn on the TV and flip channels for like a minute. There's no God, no Jesus, just violence, sex, profanity, etc. Morals straight out the window. If Christianity really had control, we would have prayer in schools. We would have Jesus monopolies everywhere, but we don't. So, Mr. Mike Papantonio, if your beef with these Christian fanatics is that they're brainwashing kids, you should take that beef to the real guilty parties, which is the media moguls of our country, because they are the ones who are actually brainwashing the kids. Kids watch violent sex and profanity on TV on a regular basis. How do you expect them to not be violent, to not be horny, to not curse? If anything, Jesus Camp just proves certain people wrong. That it is not just nature uh, to indulge in sex and early age to do this or that. It is totally nurture. Just look at what Jesus Camp can do to kids. It is so totally nurture. So that's one good point about this movie that I like to take this opportunity to express now. Is that more than anything, your upbringing, your environment will shape who you are. You are bestowed certain qualities and gifts. But in the end, you're meant to learn, meant to grow. And if you're in an environment, uh, like if you just turn on the TV, watch any average old cable channel, if you are indoctrinated by this type of environment for years, how do you expect to not be violent, not be horny, not curse? You can't. So it's a thought-provoking documentary. I, I wouldn't recommend it for everybody. Uh, those who are kind of sensitive to the religious stuff, 
but yeah, it was good. It's definitely riveting. So I give it three out of four stars. And if you can have an open mind and be able to see things objectively, not use it to feed um, your dislike of Christians. If that's not your motivation to watch it, then I recommend you please go out and watch it. You'll be, you'll be fascinated. All right.